Welcome to Real Physics. I'm again flashed by ChatGPT and DeepSeek. It's insane what kind of theoretical physics you can discuss with these models. And well, I just give you a little example and to give you a little bit of context, we're talking about Maxwell equations here. And you see uh, this one in the middle there is the conservation of charge, for example. Then you have electromagnetic waves in the first equation here and also in the um, third one and here's the famous term Maxwell added that the, the change of an electric field is equivalent to an electric current and then you have the curl free magnetic field so this is all well known and you know I'm a fan of variable speed of light because it's a very interesting idea of Einstein in 1911 how to formulate general relativity and you can formulate general relativity in terms of variable speed of light. But as a little sideline, the problem arises how to deal with variable speed of light in Maxwell's equations here. But this is a problem and it's one of the favorite things I wreck my head around. And yeah, just see what happens here. I ask the question. It's a very short question to ChatGPT. I have a theoretical physics problem for you. Variable relativity, oh sorry, I even messed this up, <laughs> can be formulated with variable speed of light as Einstein had already proposed in 1911. However, let's take that for granted. We should not debate that. I wonder what impact this has on electrodynamics. If the speed of light depends on space and time, Maxwell's equations must be altered. Can you propose a reasonable or simple way to do that? And now he thinks for ChatGPT, thinks for 14 seconds and really grasps the problem and sees what's to be done and formulates um, the speed of light with the electric and magnetic constants. Uh, everything is time and space dependent. And uh, well, he just writes down correctly the equations, thinks about and then he comes up with indeed a solution. I also proposed then back then, let's see here, I said, okay, we have this mess created by variable speed of light, but the most simple solution would be that one. And that's also the solution ChatGPT proposes. He does the correct derivatives, all these vector analysis rules. And well, he even adds another theoretically interesting theoretical aspect, how to look at it from the point of view of a metric, which is very interesting. Yeah, and uh, this is his solution. I'm really stunned. But now I ask also DeepSeek just to get a little comparison of these two models and look what happens here. So the same question with a typo here, but I think he got it as well. And now DeepSeek thinks for 148 seconds. That's incredible. And in this respect, ChatGPT is a little bit lazy. So look what he does. It's really he considers a lot of possibilities and looks from this and from that perspective and then he comes up with some doubts and say wait maybe look at it from another point of view and uh, what can we do and so on and the fourth and after a lot of reasoning a lot of thinking he comes up with an even more stunning solution to the problem I like this even more because he considers the variability of the speed of light but he goes to original to the original problem instead of putting it into the epsilon naught mu naught he formulates it with an extra term depending on the gradient of c and on the time derivative of c yeah this is really insane and i'm uh, impressed by the result but also by the thinking process it's a little pity that he doesn't write the formulas well here because at the mobile phone at the app it works but it's really stunning what capabilities these models have. And uh, yes, I think we very soon gonna have really serious theoretical physics discussions with these models. And of course, uh, much of contemporary physics I think is misguided and we haven't understood a lot of things yet. So I will be pushing the boundaries and trying to extend theories, trying to discuss new theories. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, this channel is for you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it.